what's up everyone welcome back to the channel we're gonna do a uh, seat install video for you today um, I'm hoping this seat kind of helps out with um, my low back issues that I've been having the last couple months so I went ahead and ordered the uh, Simpson seat and I believe there's two different styles I got the, uh, there's Pro Sport, and I got the Vortex. I got the uh, Vortex 2, I think it is. And I just did black on black, and it's a suspension seat, so you have a lot of, help me out here. So on the bottom, instead of it being mounted to a solid seat base, you have, um, I'm guessing it's like a stringy bungee and then uh, a soft pad in there. And I also added the heated elements so I can keep my heated seat because I have a heated seat now. So, and that feels good on the, the back and the butt. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start by taking this seat out. I have to undo my harnesses. I think we can just separate them at these points here so we don't have to unbolt them. And then under here, which is extremely muddy, there's four bolts that hold your seat pan on. And I think they're 13 millimeter. And then the seat setup, the seat base or whatever you want to call it, this whole plastic um, mount and everything should come out and then we can access the slide rails down here I ended up going with the um, what's this called what's that other one? the number 303L I think it was in their thing was 303 was regular X3 and then the L was for the low wing yeah so I got the lowering kit and it comes with i'm assuming it comes with the the smaller bushings because i think can am comes stock with two inch bushings back in there and i know i'm getting a suspension seat that sits up higher so you can fit that suspension base underneath here and it's a lot thicker and you won't have those hard hard rails anymore to get in and out of to smash your thigh on so i got the lowering seat kit mounting stuff for it this is basically all there is got these two brackets this center piece which most of the time is for your fifth point harness which i don't have and then the hardware here so i only got one um Cooper's just going to have to chill on the stock seat for now because they are fairly expensive. So, got one for me for now to hope, hopefully help with my back and uh, keep me on the trails a little bit longer. So, but to get started, we're going to get ahead and we're going to get rid of these harnesses. We're going to unhook these, we're going to unbolt that, and then we'll be back with you here in a second. So, quick recap here. Um, so, this wire that goes down through here is still connected into the seat base. So we're just gonna go I ahead can't and get it real flat because of um, it hits there. You think I should try to Let's grab it my my black uh, swivel socket thingy over there. So we were just gonna we were just gonna unhook this, but forgot about this wire being down through here, which is still bolted down there. No big deal though, because that's just uh, one nut and a stud. So.
Mm-hmm. Little stud muffin. <laughs> Is that gonna fit? It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit through there. We're gonna have to take it off down there, aren't we? <laughs> this video's going to going to poop. It isn't. <laughs> Darn it! Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, put everything back. We're starting the video over. <laughs> we'll, just, <laughs> we'll just unbolt it down here. It is what it is. That way, everybody knows. Just cut the wire. <laughs> We're going to fix this mess. We'll be back. We figured it out. <laughs> Amateurs. Okay, we have our own tile and have to plug it. Ready, pull. Perfect. No, that's not. I need it out of there. Oh, you just can't go out. Not really. I need four people. They send directions for a reason. Probably should have read them. And as you can see down here on these rails, I'll flip that one up for now. So you take this spacer and you're going to replace it with the three quarter inch wide one that they give you. And it might be different for everyone. Um, 510 and I prefer the seating position that I was in in the stock position which is the lowest and the back is always the same from the factory and then the front I had low um, and they said that you can utilize the bottom hole drill a middle hole or use the top hole um, depending on that depending on how you want your I guess seating position sherry's we actually drilled in the middle of hers and i think these these seats already come with a little bit of a, a tilt back so we'll just have to get it in there see how it feels if i need to adjust it we can adjust it but uh, that's what we're gonna go with we're gonna put the three quarter spacers on the bottom where these go and Actually, what we're gonna do is look over the uh, directions before <laughs> before we hog anything else up. So we'll be back. What you doing? Building my bracket, <laughs> my butt bracket. Make sure it's sturdy. It's a big butt. <laughs> So, looks like in the directions here, you have your front seats and the back seats, and then the different brackets here. So, kind of just building off of this. And we're right. back. Fast forward a little bit, we have the wire run. Uh, pretty much you just hook. You can pull that in. I'm doing something over here. Yeah. So there's a wire for your heated seat. Uh, you just hook to your battery, positive and negative. It runs over through into this tunnel. This gets plugged into the back of the seat, and that brings your power. And then this also plugs in the back of your seat, and that controls this switch here that I just mounted there. So that's the heated that's the heated seat wiring part and then uh what we have here is i got this bracket built um and we're gonna run the this is the original hardware put this two between these two if you have a fifth point harness that's where it's going to go around here and then they give you a bolt under here and it's called a stop i'm assuming that if you come up it's going to hit here and kind of stop so right now we're going to run these bolts down 
on the bracket. Oh, and I want to mention too that these tabs here are a little bit higher than these tabs back here. The higher tabbed part goes towards the front of the machine. Just in case you're looking at that so you don't get these switched. Low tab in the back, high tab in the front. Now, this might have to get bent a little bit around here. It looks like it might hit this a little bit. So, I might just have to bring that up about a half an inch or so. You can probably put the rubber thing back on it. Yeah. We'll check that out here in a minute. But I think we're going to we're gonna get the seat set on here. And then the bolts get run up through here up into the bottom of the seat. So, we're going to get the seats it in we're going to dry fit it and see what it looks like and go from there so we'll be right back oh look at it oh my big head all right so what we have here is a sherry <laughs> in the wild in the wild <laughs> bolting my seat down to the bracket so you just pop up that seat base right there access underneath we're just gonna get these somewhat secure that way i can get in there and sit is that secure enough i would say probably not <laughs> <laughs> Give me two more bolts. all right two bolts two washers coming up get that in there looks good cooper's gonna be jealous I'll tell him that he has to save up his money He'll be asking for Christmas. That is a pretty sweet looking seat in here. Yeah, buddy. Spoiled. <laughs> my back. My back. <laughs> I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke my back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. You done yet? Jeez, I just want to sit in it. While Sherry's doing that, I might as well update you because this is after our. Uh, Pineville Pinnacle Creek Outlaw Trail trip. See in there I got a rock and a new new knuckle. Got it all hooked up. Got it ready to rock and roll. Got the bushings pressed in. That's good. Um what else was there? I think there was that was about it, huh? That was all the cornage. Everything else went pretty good. Shares isn't even washed yet. Still looking fresh as always. Huh? Shares thinking that she's gonna start calling her side by side dirty money. Does it cost a lot of money? It's always dirty. <laughs> Is it done yet? Nope. Jeez. Can't rush perfection. <laughs> We're gonna see how an old man gets into a side by side. <laughs> Lots of noises. That transition right here. That's nice, not having that hunk of plastic on me. I am, I think I'm a little bit higher. It's a possibility. 
Not much. That's nice. Is the tilt okay? Or we gotta we gotta rework that. I think it's good. Okay. Let's have to finish tightening all those bolts and I dropped a washer down in there, so I gotta find that. This is nice. This is probably my favorite part. Is it? Not getting over that. Because that plastic piece would like dig in mm -hmm. right where my sciatic nerve is running down my thigh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, sweet. You look hugged in now, sweet. What do you think it took about an hour? Yeah, Give probably. Let's show them your button. Bring in here. Here's my button. Heat, heat the seat got, on. Got the hiccups. Heat the seat off. It is. It is comfy. It'd be interesting to see how the suspension part of the seat works compared yeah. to like just being on a plastic seat base well you sit over here and you drive down and then you can switch with cooper and let cooper drive you down <laughs> yeah i must say this is my favorite favorite part of getting in and out now the uh cornices don't go through like this one does anymore which I kind of like that because it kind of you know held it in place these did come like straight out now they have to come up at an angle which isn't really a big deal I mean they, they still work as intended but man is it nice looking seat that's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward you get your bracket bolt your bracket on bolt your seat to your bracket good to go so if you're looking at getting a simpson seat um we got this one from our buddy at uh, northeast power sports dave in uh, akron ohio he helped us out with this a little bit he's always getting us the the best deals that he can he's a he's a dealer for uh simpson simpson seats so they're uh Where's that bracket here? There's, they're not the bracket, the brochure. There's all kinds of different custom order ones that you can get. Yeah, different stitching. This is the one I got the Vortex. I just got black on black right here. Um, the heated seat, the butt in the back, it was like another 160, 170 bucks, something like that to add that. Um, here's all the different mounts for the different um, razors, YXZs, can ams. So, thanks for uh, sticking around. If you're getting uh, ready to bolt a Simpson seed into yours, hopefully this helps you a little bit. Hopefully, it helps me out a little bit here with my back. Pretty excited to get it out there and test it out. Um, not sure what if we're gonna ride between this video and our subscriber ride um, not sure what we're gonna have between here um, we're coming up on Memorial weekend so I'm sure we'll get into something but I got this in the mail the other day wanted to get it bolted on or bolted in wanted to have that for our next ride wanted to get a uh, another garage type how-to video in here for you to see so hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully it'll help you out if you're getting ready to do something similar to this and uh stick around we have some more upgrades in the next video mm -hmm. i think you'll be pretty excited to see i know i am so stick around and uh we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching